This is the first of our farm tours, and we were so lucky to have my dad talk to us a little bit about beef cattle, so here we go. Hey guys, today we're going to be starting our farm tour series and we're starting with my pap here and we're going to be asking him questions about his beef cattle. So let's go ahead and start. Pap, how long have you been raising cows for? Since 1985. Can you tell us about the cows here? These are calves that are just being weaned. They're uh, being prepared for the VQA sale which is Virginia Quality Assured Cattle. Uh, they're mostly six months old, they're doing great. And these cattle won't be sold at the market, they sell on a tele-auction, right? Right, VQA tele-auction sale. And they're graded, is that they're correct? Weighted, loaded out on tractors and trailers from, from Abbott, sold on a tele-auction. Okay, um, how much pasture does one cow need for a whole year? Uh, well, a cow and calf pair would probably be about three acres of strip mine land. Okay. Um, how do you keep the pasture in good shape? Do you, like, clip the weeds, fertilize? Bush hogging, fertilize, and seed. And what kind of seeding do you put on yours? What's the best for this well, reclaimed strip mine? We, Kentucky 31 fescue and orchard grass uh, combination. Okay. Uh, how much hay do you need for the cows per winter? Uh, one cow per winter. Yeah, one cow per winter. Uh, probably five, about five, four by five rows. On a normal winter, how many days do you plan on feeding the cows with hay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably December the 1st to April the 15th. Okay. Um, what is your favorite breed of beef cattle and why? Breeds. I can't say one. I, the favorite way to raise cattle was black angus females and simmental bulls. Which a lot of these are, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll take some pictures of them, and that way you can see what they look like later on. Like Everybody. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, if someone is wanting to get beef cattle, do you recommend heifer or mature cows? Now, what was the question again? If someone is wanting to get beef cattle, do you recommend heifer or mature cows? Well, if they're inexperienced, they best get mature cows. Mm -hmm. A uh, heifer requires a lot of extra effort, particularly when they're pregnant and getting ready to have babies. You've got to put a lot of time in with them. Okay. What do you look for in a good mother cow? Live calf, 600 pound weaning weight, and rebreed, fertile. Have to be fertile. <laughs> what size cow do you look for? 1,200 pound is. If someone wants to buy cows, do you recommend getting them from a farm or a market? Farm. Market is not a good source for cattle. Okay. Alright. Now, 
tell everybody a little bit about what you all do, cow and calf operation, and how you keep replacement heifers every year, and how you keep it going. Okay, we well we we run 15 to 20 replacement heifers per year. Sell the, the mature cows at uh, around 10, nine, 10 year old. Um, do a lot of testing to make sure everybody is, is pregnant and doing what they're supposed to be doing. And if not, call them. And by calling them, you mean selling them, getting rid of them, yeah. yeah right. All right. Gracie, you got Turn around, you got a perfect picture. <laughs> All right, I think there's 75 weaned calves in this field that we're sitting in now. We'll get some pictures of them a little later. Gracie's got some more questions, I think. Um, I just want him to talk about how he maintains the cow's health. Health? Well, they're on a health program where they're, they're vaccinated twice yearly. Uh, Tell them what you vaccinate for mainly. That, that, that way people will know. Black leg. Black leg and uh, uh, pink eye. VD. VD. What about worming? How often do you worm cattle? Well, the young cattle we worm regularly. The mature cows, unless they're having a problem, they don't need to be wormed. Okay. All right. And like you said, there's 75 calves in this field here. You've got them set up where they're got a place where you just weaned them. They're eating in this big shed here, right? Right. Eating grain. That's the grain feeder. Grain feeders. And these calves will sell when? They'll start selling in November. The heavy calves will go out in November, 600 plus pound calves, steers. And uh, again in January, the 600 plus waders. And then the last group will go out in uh, no, or, uh, March. I said the big old streak of lightning, I think. Well, that's not good. Can you. Uh, Will they let us walk out here amongst them? Well, or will they come to us? They'll come to Danny when he comes up here with that. Uh, <laughs> with that I don't know if Gracie's real excited about them coming amongst us, but you got anything else? Uh, no, I don't have any more questions. I tell you what we need to do. If them other cows are over, we'll get them. You can put a little stripe in them big cows. And okay, we'll take you. Yeah. All right. Grace. Bye, guys. See you next time.